Hello, everyone. Hope you are doing well. So here we have uh, a question, uh, a critical reasoning based question. So where the question asked about what um, identifying when so one of the similar pattern or similar reasoning best uh, choice from the options given below, right? So the direction for question is answer the following questions based on the information provided below. Now look into it, the original argument states what? On Fridays, John usually buys some fresh flowers, but the only place he can buy fresh flowers is the local farmer's market, right? What does it say on Fridays? John usually buys some fresh flowers, but the only place he can buy fresh flowers is the local farmer's market. It follows that he must sometimes shop at the local farmer's market on Fridays, isn't it? So, if you look into that, uh, when we do the critical reasoning, what we need to do, we need to see that uh, what is the situation, which are the premise or premises, and what is that conclusion. So, in that case, premises means what? The meaning of premises is called as a stated reasoning or stated region. Stated region, isn't it? And we know that the conclusion is nothing but a course of effect, right? So in that case, if I look at the, I mean, so the pattern, so what do we find out? I find out that what John usually buys some fresh flowers, right? John usually buys some fresh flowers. When? On Friday, right? So that could be a kind of a region. John usually buys uh, some fresh flowers on Friday, which is given you. So then this is called as a premise one. So second is called as a premise two. The only place to buy fresh flowers is the local farmer's market, right? Local farmer's market. So this can be called as a premise two. Right. So what is the conclusion? It follows that he must sometimes shop at the local farmer's market on Friday. So John must sometimes shop at the local farmer's market on Friday is the conclusion. Right. Now, there is a specific condition buying fresh flowers that leads to a necessary action going to the farmer's market. Isn't it? Buying flowers. So leads to a necessary action going to the farmer's market, right? Since the condition happens usually, which is given, right? Not always. What does that say? Usually, not always, right? It means the action sometimes happens, isn't it? The action that happens sometimes. So now let's, Understand each option to see which one uh, follows a similar pattern, right? We find out the uh, premise, premise one, premise two, then we find out the conclusion, isn't it? Now, what is the argument pointed? The argument above is most similar in its uh, pattern of reasoning to which one of the following arguments. Let's look at the each option. The first option said only chefs at garment restaurants are allowed to use the restaurant's main kitchen. Most desserts at the restaurants are prepared in that kitchen. So at least some desserts at the restaurant must be prepared by garment restaurant chefs. Right? Now, in that case, here what do we find out? We find out the premise is nothing but a only chef. Only chef at a garment restaurants are allowed to use the restaurant's main kitchen. That is the first premise. Premise two stated what? Most digits at the restaurants, right? Are prepared in that kitchen. So it is a premise two. So in that case, what do we get the conclusion? The conclusion is called as a, uh, at least some digits at the restaurant. Isn't it? It is given at least some desert at the restaurant must be prepared by garment restaurant ships. So this 
particular option. So where we find out the premise one and premise two, right? So, and conclusion. So this option follows the same pattern of reasoning as the original argument, which is given here. So this can be called as a parallel reasoning questions, parallel reasoning best questions. So in that case, option A can be the best answer to it. Now, look into the next pattern. So what does the next one stated here? Because uh, look at the option A stated what? Condition is only garment. Restaurant chefs can use the main kitchen. Right? Outcome is what? Since most digits are prepared in the main kitchen and only chef can use it, it follows that some digits are necessarily prepared by those chefs. Isn't it? So the structure is nothing but a parallel. The structure is nothing but called as a parallel parallel to the original argument, where an exclusive condition only shapes, isn't it? Which is stated about what? Only shapes leads to a necessary outcome and shapes preparing some digits. So hence we can say option one is the correct one. But let's look at the other options, uh, isn't it? So option B stated that what? Means all digit set garment restaurants are prepared in the main kitchen of the restaurant, but only chefs at the restaurant are allowed to use that kitchen. So the digit at the restaurant must be prepared by garment restaurant chef. Isn't it? That is what it is stated. So in that case, premises one is known as all digit set garment restaurants are prepared in the main kitchen and premise two that stated about what? Only chef at the restaurant are allowed to use that kitchen. And uh, uh, in that case, you know, the conclusion can be drawn as called as the digit at the restaurant must be prepared by garment restaurant chefs. This is the conclusion. So this argument states that all digits are prepared in the main kitchen. So it logically follows that all are prepared by, you can say chefs, all are prepared by, so you can say that restaurant chefs, isn't it? Uh, this is different from the original argument, which concludes that sometimes buys flowers at the farmer's market, not always. So in that case, we cannot take option B as the answer. Look at the option C. Option C said that what? Most digits at the garment restaurants are prepared in the main kitchen of the restaurant. All the chefs at the restaurant are allowed to use that kitchen. So at least some digits at the restaurant must be prepared by Garment restaurant chefs. So in that case, all the sh most digits, sorry, most digits at garment restaurants are prepared in the main kitchen of the restaurant can be called as a premises one, means region one. All the chefs at the restaurants are allowed, all look into it. At the restaurants are followed to use that kitchen. So in that case, premise two. Then conclusion is called as a, at least some digits at the restaurant must be prepared by garment restaurant chef. Right. So this argument introduces what most, but doesn't establish exclusivity as the original argument does. So it doesn't say only, right? Only chefs can use the kitchen. So that actually does nothing but weakening the choice, weakening the choice, right? Now, uh, you 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 could find out that what. Uh, weakening the necessary relationship. So the reasoning is not parallel to the original argument where exclusive only drives the conclusion. Now, next is called as option D. So what does option D said? Most chefs at the garment restaurants are allowed to use the restaurant's main kitchen. Right? This could be your premise. Right? One. Digit said the restaurants are only prepared in that kitchen. So in that case, Oh, what do we find out? It is nothing but a premise too. So, and what is the conclusion? So, desert at the restaurant must sometimes be prepared by garment restaurant chefs. Now, look into the word called only. So, this could be a conclusion. But when we talk about this one, this argument says what? Most chefs are allowed, not only chef, which introduces a kind of a, you can say that, uh, um, yeah, which suggests that a kind of uh, the conclusion 
right? Um, you can say that uh, necessity for the conclusion, the original argument strength, uh, you can say that comes from only and usually. Only and usually, isn't it? Now, look at the moment's uh, incorrectness given here or present here. The premises of most, it is written of uh, most shapes, so most weakens the arguments, uh, uh, arguments parallel structure. Look at the option E. So, uh, only shapes at the garment restaurants are what? Are allowed to use the main kitchen of the restaurants. So, we can consider it could be of premises or premise one. So, and the digits at the restaurant are usually prepared by garment restaurant chefs, premise two. So, hence the conclusion can be what? Digits at the restaurant must sometimes be prepared in the main kitchen of the restaurant. Right. Now, again, this is called as a conclusion. So, in that case, we can find out the discussion of the frequency that called as a usually. Right? Of digit prepared by uh, chefs, but doesn't link the location, main kitchen, directly to chefs involvement in a way that uh, requires the conclusion. Right or not? So, if we talk about that uh, incorrectness, it discusses likelihoods and uh, assumptions rather than a direct necessary relationship. So, hence we can say option A is the correct answer here. Option A is the correct answer. Right. So, because it points out only chefs at the garment restaurants are allowed to use the restaurant's main kitchen. Most digits at the restaurants are prepared in that kitchen. So, at least some digits at the restaurant must be prepared by garment uh, restaurant chefs. So, option A is correct because it follows a similar reasoning pattern as the original argument. When an exclusive condition, only certain people can do something, and a common action lead to a necessary conclusion, some of that action must be done by those people. Hence, the answer should be option A. Okay, so I hope you understood the question and also answer. That's all. Thank you.